EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for November 28th, 2023. We have the snow icon above me here for today's forecast, and we will see in a lot of places, you'll see your first snowflakes of the season today, and we'll get to that here in today's video. The Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsor sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. With the winter season settling in, you'll probably be spending a little bit more time inside over the next few months. Why not add a little color to the inside of your home or home office or freshen up that kitchen or bathroom to get so much use? They specialize in residential and commercial repaints, wallpaper removal, and they can apply any custom colors that your heart desires. You want the job done right for someone who knows what they're doing and aren't going to cut corners. Mark Damiani Painting is a family-owned and operated business with 40 years in the business, so you can't go wrong with their exceptional attention to detail and great customer service, serving the southeast PA counties of Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester. Call them now to schedule a free estimate at the phone number above me here in the video, 484-571-9233. Mention EPA WA and receive 15% off the total cost of any job scheduled between January and March of 2024. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsors of the Tuesday video forecast. So today, yes, we have some snowflakes that are going to be flying through the area. We're going to have a a very winter-like day today. It's going to feel like mid-January. Uh, high temperatures today are going to be in the 30s region-wide. You see above me the temperature spread uh, right below that uh, icon that shows the snowflakes. 32 to 38. 32 to 38 is a temperature spread across the region. That 38 is going to be in our far southeastern areas. But most of your interior areas are going to be between 30 and 35 today. Or 32, 35 uh, pretty chilly day across the region. And now on top of that, we're going to have some windy conditions. And uh, here's what it looks like for wind here. Now, this is the uh, total accumulated winds through the day. So this is showing the max gusts that we're going to see throughout the day. Uh, but if you went through several of these hours in the afternoon, it's going to be pretty much the same almost every hour. And you can see the far southern areas here of our uh, coverage region uh, where the greens are here. That is reaching 35 miles per hour uh, in terms of top gusts that we're going to have uh, but it also has uh, these areas all here are all between 30 and 35 so even though they're lower than the areas in the green further south they are still 30 to 35 mile per hour gusts and that's going to create wind chills combined with that temperature that's going to be in the lower 20s some places even teens at times is going to be pretty cold today definitely pretty cold and a little bit early for this uh, the other side of this of course is the snow and we have uh, we have some snow squalls and snow showers that are going to be coming off of Lakes Ontario and Erie, and you can see that moving down to the south and east. Now, it's gonna be, not going to be everywhere. Uh, this is the uh, kind of a middle ground. The uh, high-resolution rapid refresh that I'm about to show you is going to be a lot more aggressive. The NAM 3 kilometer that I show you is uh, typically in these situations is really just confined to northeast PA, north central PA. I do think because of the wind direction today, being out of the west-northwest, this was this is your flow. And uh, because it's in that, coming out of that direction, I, I would support more of a high-resolution rapid refresh look to, the, to what's going to happen today. And when you're looking at the radar, it's probably going to look more like this. So this is starting here off at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to move this forward. This is going to start early, right? And as I move this forward here, you can see these snow showers and snow squalls moving southeast and getting a little bit more numerous by the time we get to... Uh, noon today or late morning or, or, or early afternoon and then it's going to continue uh, overspreading the region now this is not going to be every single location this is kind of like uh, think of this kind of like thunderstorms where you have a broken line of storms and one town gets hit the next town doesn't so uh, with this these are going to be some blinding snow squalls you're going to have some wind gusts in these squalls that can reach 40 miles per hour uh, and you're also, it's going to come, it just basically comes down as hard as it can snow almost for about 15 minutes in, in any of the heavier squalls. And it uh, that reduces visibility to the point where even if it's not sticking the roads, that's not the issue. It's the visibility issue that, that creates the problem. Uh, if it is sticking, I think it's going to be mostly grassy surfaces and uh, coating, isolated coatings here and there. Once you get up here across the northern tier, once you get up by I-80, the higher elevations, northeast PA, north central PA, I can see a quick coating to an inch out of any squall that comes through. But further south, when you get close to I-78 and point south, 
Yesterday, it didn't look like it was going to be points south. Now it does. Uh, if you're going to have anything south of there, I think it's going to be maybe an isolated coating here or there on the grass or the cars, that kind of thing, elevated surfaces, and not so much on the paved surfaces. I think it's still going to be a little bit too warm for that, and uh, it's going to be a quick in-and-out thing anyway. But this has this HR has it going all the way down to I-95 and even beyond. Uh, as we get through the course of the afternoon. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, the radar. Look at the radar this afternoon. You see one of these darker returns on the radar coming toward you. That is a snow squall, so you're going to have to pay attention to that. Uh, and if you're driving, just uh, make sure you have plenty of distance between the vehicle in front of you so you're not running in the back of it. All of a sudden, the visibility goes from great to nothing in a very short amount of time. And that's the biggest concern, especially if you're on an interstate, you're at a high rate of speed. Just slow down and give yourself some room. Uh, this is a classic snow squall sounding that we see deeper in the winter typically, but we can see the uh, very sharp, there's a very sharp uh, drop off in temperatures here as you go up with height. This is uh, known as lapse rates, okay? So your lapse rates are uh, your temperature drop for every kilometer in an elevation. And in this case, we're talking about 9 degrees Celsius drop for every kilometer of altitude that you go up above the ground. So that's a pretty sharp gradient. And because of that, that's going to lead to uh, the potential for snow squalls in this case. Okay, so I think that's what we're dealing with today. And uh, it's, it's pretty cut and dry. Some areas will just have some lighter snow showers or flurries. But uh, if you get on one of those heavier squalls, just make sure you are aware uh, this is one of those stay aware days with the snow squalls. After this point, still remains cold on Wednesday. We're getting rid of the snow part of it. We're getting rid of most of the wind. Uh, so the wind here on uh, on Wednesday is going to be significantly less. And then we get to uh, Thursday, we're going to have this trough starting to lift out. So it's going to be a quick cold shot, quick, hey, the winter's on its way. And we're going to let you know it's on its way and give you a rude awakening type thing uh, each of the next two days, especially today. Uh, once we get to Thursday... We're going to see some moderation in temperatures, but we're going to remain partly to mostly sunny here on Thursday. So uh, Wednesday is another interval, intervals of clouds on Sunday. Uh, we're looking at partly to mostly sunny skies on Thursday, but temperatures are going to go up about 10 to 12 degrees from what they were uh, on Wednesday. So it's going to be a quite a significant increase. And then we have another system coming at us here on Friday with an increase in clouds and then some showers moving through in the afternoon. There's going to be rain showers because the end of the week, it's, it's warming up, right? So that started on Thursday. Friday is going to be very similar temperatures with these showers going into the evening, out afternoon and into the evening, and then we get a break. Uh, Saturday should be a partly to mostly cloudy day in between systems. And then we get to Sunday. Most of the day looks like it's going to be dry again. We get late in the day. Again, showers moving in, rain showers. Again, it's going to be mild all the way into through early next week or milder than average, even if it's slightly uh, this time of year, near average temperatures are upper 40s to near 50, something somewhere in there. So if you're kind of like 50, 52, that's not much above average, but it still is above average and too warm for any frozen precipitation. So we're looking at uh, some more showers coming in here uh, Sunday into Monday. Monday would have a, have this uh, more of this lingering, and then we finally clear out beyond that once we get to next week and another trough settling in with colder temperatures coming in after that system. That was always been the projection. Once we got to uh, around the 5th or 6th of the month of December, we'd have the cold front come through that would lower those temperatures, but it is going to be mild for several days, milder than average, in fact, for a couple of days leading up to that with a couple of rain chances. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Markish. That is your outlook for November 28th, 2023. Have a great Tuesday. <laughs>